Hello, I'm Gav. I'm Dan. We're the Slow Mo Guys. This video is sponsored by the OnePlus 12. It's a telephone. Did a little video there. I am. I'm filming in my pocket because I accidentally charged it last night. And one of the main demonstrations is how fast it charges. So I'm just trying to rinse the battery to demo it later. That makes sense. I was thinking about, you know, the fast charging, the wireless charging is the coils of wire, yeah. electricity moving in a circle. And then I thought CDs in a microwave. <laughs> it was a leap, <laughs> but we've that, never that, filmed in a microwave. That is a leap, yeah. but I like it. You mm -hmm. just come up with an excuse to film inside a microwave, which yeah. I've always wanted to do. Yeah. However, we've not really been able to do so because, you know, it's a microwave. Can't really get a camera in there, especially not a phantom. It's easier with smaller cameras, yeah. but now we can film outside of the microwave. It's true. I've kind of done some research and figured out a way to do it. And we've got some new kit and equipment that allows us to as well. We've got some probe lenses and a way to safely film it from the outside. To avoid glare and allow more light in, I've taken the glass off of the front of this microwave. Because otherwise it's kind of tricky to film inside. I've also drilled a hole here in this mesh. Now this mesh usually is just to stop the microwaves from passing through out to past the door of the microwave. Now microwaves are actually 12 centimeter long sort of wavelengths like this. Which means that these tiny little holes are a little bit overkill. So we can easily get away with a hole like this. Is it mental that a microwave is 12 centimeters long? Yeah, it is. In, it is. in, in wavelength. That is so much bigger than I imagined. How big are, are like visible light waves? Um, I think green is 540 nanometers or something. Well, and this is 12 centimeters. That's exactly what I mean. It's like, it's so far at the other end. Wow. 480 nanometers might be blue. I don't know. I love that you know that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fully expecting you to be like, I don't know. <laughs> but you're like, mm, I think blue actually. All right, I'm a nerd. Yeah. You have to, you <laughs> have to rub it in. Do you know what I love about YouTube? There's, there's actually really good videos out there on specifically how to film inside a microwave. Yeah, I did actually um, look at a few of those for research purposes. You That's, watched a bit of our boy Mold out there? I did watch Moldy, <laughs> bit of Steve Mold. I've plopped on the old probe lens, quite a bit bigger than the hole, but if we press up right against it, there shouldn't be too much vignetting. Let's grab a cheeky 4K shot at a thousand. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. I don't think my LimeWire downloads are going to go on there anymore. Oh. 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 It's like a it's like a lightning storm in the dark. You know, at night. Yeah. That's a real like Tron vibe. Yeah, it's like the opening of a portal or something. So we're clearly seeing the, uh, the alternating current because it's happening every 60th of a sec second. It's coming on and then off. Oh, interesting. That's something you'd never see not yeah. in slow mo. All right, so why don't we take a look at it with all the gaps cut out. You ready? Yep. Oh, that oh. looks cool. <laughs> That's cooler. I've never seen it like that. So the arcing is blue and then the plasma yeah. is red. It looks like green. That's green. That's a bright one there. Absolute laser show. Yeah, I like the fact that it's still circular, like with the CD. I thought it would just jump kind of any angle, but it shows the, the sort of circular parts of the CD. It seems to start from the outside. All right, now, with all the gaps cut out, let's overlay all of it to happen at the same time, pretty much. Ready? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like um, the activation of like the Infinity Stones or something. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Should have aimed for the head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it says here, do not operate with object, an object caught in the door. Yeah. There isn't one. <laughs> a door that does not close properly. It closes fine. It closes just fine. Five, four, three, two, one.
Okay, switching to the TMX at 10,000 frames a second. Four, three, two, one. Ooh. Yeah, it wow, just looks what? like laser etching, doesn't it? That does. That's it's exactly like it's what it's being looks engraved. Like. By tiny little robot lasers, like a CNC sort of thing. It's very clever. There's a lot bigger gaps in some places. Like from the outside, you can see a huge gap in the sort of surface of the CD where the plastic shows through. It's, it's like as soon as there's a eruption of plasma, all of the energy is focused there and you don't get a lot of simultaneous sparks. Oh, that's true. Without the puffs, you wouldn't be able to see that it's a CD. Yeah. Like it can't go at 45 degrees, really. It can only go perpendicular or vertical. I've never seen it like this. I've never seen it in this detail. Oh, it's like full of explosions outside. It's like ejecting material. It's, re it's really interesting to see the, the speed difference between the spark travel and the little eruptions. Okay, 10 was good. But why are we down at 10 when we could be at 80? That's <laughs> what I always say. That's the question I always wonder. <laughs> I always ask myself that. Stop. Oh yeah. You can see it kind of goes back and forth. And it is just individual dots. It's like, uh, and, it's, and it's not really, it doesn't necessarily like follow a path in the same space. It'll like do a little bit here, jump up there, come back down here. Yeah, is it like lightning where it goes back and forth all the time? Is that what's happening? I don't know. It's like little Morse code bits. <laughs> yeah. Sort of like, it is just like a, a laser engraver. That's exactly what it looks like. I wonder if you could do this, you know, a billion times, it'd be different every single time. Oh, that was interesting. The, the spark stayed in the same place for a while there. It's just started working on the same spot and that caused the eruption. It was interesting when something like less visually cool actually gives you more information. It just looks like dots, but it's actually quite interesting the way it's, like the way it's deciding to go. Yeah. It's not that any decisions are being made. But. It seems to be there's more plasma the further on we go. Is it, I think yeah. you're right, like it heats it and heats it and heats it and then it gets and you start getting more plasma. Yeah, I think it, this, the sweet spot for the, the way this looks, like the coolest, is at a slightly lower frame rate because then more occurs in each frame, you know, with lines instead of dots. Oh, uh, that's true. I think it looks cooler too. There's, there's definitely a sweet spot with the frame rate. There. Yeah. It's one of those rare things that looks cool in real time and then as you step up the, the frame rate, it still looks cool, but you're seeing different things each time. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna use the OnePlus for an internal view. Strap it up. Tiny little Hasselblad. Is that what it is? Yeah. Stop. A good amount of destruction. Yeah, solid. But not enough. Not, not, not enough, yeah. I think uh, we've done a lot of eggs exploding and being shot and things like that before. <laughs> but it's always been, there's always been a cause, like a visual cause. Yeah. Whereas with the microwave, they just sort of spontaneously combust, it seems. <laughs> like the pressure builds up and inside the shell and then explodes. I don't think I've ever put an egg in the microwave in my life. <laughs> Have you not? No. You want to draw any, any funny face on the egg or anything? That's one of us. Has he got standard ears? No ears. No, no ears. Hang on. Oh, perfect. All right, let's see him. <laughs> <laughs> ripped open from the inside. If I was to use one word, one word to describe this, it would be perfect. <laughs> Hopefully the egg is cooked by the microwave and not these lights. <laughs> so, can you already see it? Oh my God, I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Yep. It's getting sweaty. It's getting sweaty. Quite a lot of cooked egg showing. Okay. Woof! <laughs> Flip! I think it's like done the microwave in. <laughs> Look at it! Holy! <laughs> the thing is, it's not even viscous, it's cooked it so much. It's just cooked egg. It's just cooked it. Like, I've seen the videos before where it's kind of liquidy and viscous and it sort of explodes. This was just scrambled egg at a million <laughs> miles an hour. <laughs> it's, that's some intensely strong egg there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd not seen that before. Did you just goes all over yourself in, in amazement? I did. That was the longest I've seen it go in the microwave. <laughs> That's just scrambled. It's just fully scrambled it. It doesn't smell as bad as I was expecting. It's definitely overcooked. <laughs> mm, just 
just a nice egg. <laughs> you can barely tell it's spinning. We're filming so fast. Oh yeah. You have to look at it for a few seconds to realise. Oh, oh, <laughs> wow. There was like a primary explosion and a secondary one if you look. I can't believe so much pressure can build up. It doesn't appear to be working. <laughs> it just, <laughs> just completely ended the microwave. Well, that's a positive. It means I don't have to clean the microwave. Should we break out the spare microwave? I think so. Should I get some different, less powerful eggs as well? No, these eggs are great. These eggs I are great. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> do you want to do you on the front, me on the back? Sure. I guess this can be me. <laughs> Just a regular sized nose here. Cheers for that. I'm, I've, got, oh. <laughs> I've got the subject right in front of me, so... It's not a particularly well-shaven beard. There we go. <laughs> okay. I think whoever blows up loses? I think it's a win, really, because you get immortalised. Okay, so the winner blows up. The winner blows up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think our channel's devolving. <laughs> you think? Uh, when did it start going downhill? When, when did I join the channel? <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Back round to you. There we go. Oh! Oh! oh. I think, I think that's it. That is definitely it. <laughs> it looked like a gruesome headshot. <laughs> that was so quick. Oh! <laughs> it's so much less violent now. Oh! Wow, it's like a tidal wave. You know when like a water pressure overcomes sort of a barrier? Oh, that one just peeled open. Just open. Everyone's completely different. You can see little cooked areas in there. Yeah. Are you making my schnozzes bigger? I was wondering if you were going to notice, but I'm trying to very subtly make them slightly bigger each time. Let me know if it starts sweating. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Just went. <laughs> I think that was you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think you just got a viscery. <laughs> Bloodbath. Well, I don't know. Your eyes look like you've already been... <laughs> 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 Did you put a G in your mouth? Oh, oh, oh. oh that was a forceful one, but undercooked still. That one looks really cool. That's my favourite one. Oh, straight through the eyebrow. Just the patterns in the liquids. That's, that's entirely dependent on the shell. That one hasn't so much burst as that one exploded more. It's like, it's like that scene in um, License to Kill. Oh yeah, sure. The yolk got out of there as well. Look at all those tiny flecks of cooked egg. Yeah. Pretty grim. Pretty grim. There you go. It's the... <laughs> Have you actually detected that as a face? <laughs> well, that was gruesome. Oh! Oh! It's a dripping egg on you, I'm sorry. I like how quickly we went straight to eggs. Which have really nothing to do with electricity. <laughs> <laughs> right, we've done the electricity part. Eggs. I blow up some eggs. Do you know what I like? The, the variety of different eggs did different things. Yeah. Like it, every it, egg was different. Yeah, every single one. Well, there we have it. Hopefully you enjoyed that destruction. Big thanks once again to OnePlus for sponsoring this video. You can check out the OnePlus 12 at the link in the description. And I would now like to tell you slightly more things about the phone. On the screen right now is a real-time screen capture of how fast it charges. 80 watts when plugged in. 80 watts? 80 watts. I feel like my electric car at home doesn't charge that fast. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't think it does. The iPhone, I believe, is 25, which is what I'm used to. OnePlus 12 has the fastest wired and wireless charging in North America. One to 100% in 30 minutes with 80 watt wired charging. 50 watt wireless charging that can charge from one to 50% in 23 minutes. If you started charging your OnePlus 12 from 3% at the beginning of this video, it would now be approximately 61% charged. It features Qualcomm's latest chipset with 16 gigabytes of RAM, which means you can have up to 47 apps open at the same time. That is a very specific amount of apps. It is. <laughs> I was like, uh, 47. And the thing is, I never closed the apps as well. It also features a triple lens camera that's made in collaboration with Hasselblad. It has a three times optical zoom and 120 times digital zoom. That is, that's, that's in there. Considerable. <laughs> Thanks once again for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you like slow-mo and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>